the average acceleration vector generalizes just like you would expect it. Same thing as the average velocity vector, really, just now we're doing it for acceleration. So recall that we had defined the average acceleration vector along the x direction as overall it's delta v over delta t, but really if you only can go in one direction along the x-axis, that's v final x minus v initial x divided by t final minus t initial carried by x hat. And you can generalize that, except of course this is typically delta v over delta t instead of writing that big fraction. So what you're going to get here is you're going to get a average is going to have two components. It is going to have delta v, now we need to be specific, delta vx, because it's the x velocity only that you look at, divided by delta t carried by x hat, and then delta v y, so the y component of velocity, the change in the y component of velocity, divided by delta t y hat. And then for 3D, you take the 2D generalization and then you extend it to a third component. That would be delta VZ, the change of velocity along the Z direction, divided by delta T, carried by Z hat. All right, so at this point, we've done this two or three times already. No surprises when it comes to the generalization. And same comment as before. This quantity we often just going to call a average x, that would be the x component of the average velocity. This would be the y component, so this would be a average y, and then right here, a average g. And now note that I am not talking about x hat, z hat, or y hat. I'm just talking about these fractions. Those are the components. The x hat, y hat, z hat just are there for direction, but what's highlighted in pink, those are what we tend to call A average x, y, and z. So that's the case for the average acceleration vector. It generalizes just like any vector. You add as many components as you need, either another one for 2D or two extra components for 3D, and you get these two forms that we just derived. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't heard of Cogverse Academy before, we're a tutoring company that specializes in creating course companions that help you save time and improve your grades. You tell us which class you're taking, and we'll have a look at your syllabus, old exams, the style of your instructor, and put together a course companion, mapping over lecture notes, videos, practice problems with step-by-step -step solutions, even personalized study guides and access to a private chat for you to ask all your questions. If this sounds like something that might be helpful to you, feel free to check us out at congressacademy.com.